Private sector firm Gridbots Technologies has successfully developed a complete range of autonomous vehicles for the Indian Armed Forces, that includes Brute for Autonomous Reconnaissance and Surveillance, Hummingbird for Autonomous Surveillance and Reconnaissance, Zeus High Payload Autonomous Multi-Utility Warfare Robot, and the Titan Autonomous Combat Vehicle. Gridbots Technologies has announced, that it has recently handed over the Titan Autonomous Combat Vehicle to the Indian Army for user trials, as the Army is looking to procure 351 autonomous combat vehicles and 351 units for logistical support. The Titan Autonomous Combat Vehicle features 8 cameras with edge processing, and offers follow me mode, fully autonomous mode, and remote control mode of operation. It also offers data relay with encrypted communication, and a group of Titan vehicles can be operated as combat land teaming system. The DRDO has initiated the process to identify a partner for the fabrication of five units of dual-color missile approach warning system for Su-30. A set of six dual-color infrared sensors will be installed on the Su-30, that can identify the approaching enemy missiles of all generations. The spectral information of two colors is used to discriminate efficiently between sunlight reflections, background radiation and the radiation from the enemy missile, which helps in dispensing appropriate countermeasures while performing the defensive maneuvers. The ATAGS 155mm 52 caliber howitzer has completed summer firing trials yesterday, and the DRDO aims to complete the few remaining tests for non-firing parameters of the ATAGS within a month, after which a request for proposal will be issued to both private sector firm Star to Advanced Systems Limited and Bharat Forge, for an initial order for 150 ATAGS that will be split between the two companies. At a time when two Boeing F-18 Super Hornet Block 3 aircraft are all set to arrive in India for capability demonstration, officials have said that India has already conducted more than 150 simulation studies and ski jump tests to find out whether the F-18 is capable of operating from the two existing aircraft carriers. Boeing has said that the Super Hornet Block 3 will exceed the performance requirements of the Indian Navy, and its advanced networking and open architecture design will also enable it to work jointly with the Navy's P-8 anti-submarine aircraft. The Indian Army's Air Defence Warriors of the Sap to Sakti Command has successfully tested an advanced version of the 40 km range Akash Prime surface-to-air missile. The test included simultaneous engagement of multiple high-maneuvering aerial targets, and the Akash Prime ensured 100% hits, thus demonstrating the potency of the system in realistic operational conditions, and validated the performance of command and control system, onboard avionics and aerodynamic configuration of the missile. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has launched a fast patrol vessel for the Indian Coast Guard ahead of schedule. More than 60% work on this fast patrol vessel has been completed at the launching stage. It features 40mm L60 gun, and has a displacement of 308 tons, and has a maximum speed of 34 knots with an endurance of more than 2,700 kilometers.